What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to go over some things that I have on my car as you've seen per usual the last video in the montage but today I'm going to show you what they are and in the description below I am going to link where I got them. I do have on the car. These wheels, well, nothing really fancy. Um, I found these in a junkyard and they were pretty bad off. And yes, I still do have drum brakes. Gonna swap those soon. But these were pretty bad off. They're really pitted. And as you can see in some of my Instagram posts, I did paint them black, but then I decided to go with a bronze, which I don't know, I kind of missed the black, but the bronze still look good. But these are uh, American Racing wheels. Um, they're 15 by 7.5, zero offset. As you've seen in the montage in the last video, I do have coilovers on here. They're nothing too fancy, but we will check them out. Let's go check them out. All right, guys, don't mind the engine bay. It's a little dirty. I'd like to show you what they look like underneath, but obviously the car's a little low, so it's hard to see up under there. But these coilovers are from Max Speeding Rods. I'll put the link in the description below. Unfortunately, these are the non-adjustable dampering, but they are adjustable ride height and camber. As you can see, my camber is at zero degrees because I am running maybe an inch lower than stock ride height for functionality. Duly recommend though, if you do get coilovers to your car and you want to do a street build like mine, also I'm going to go over what I want to do to my car. I would recommend to get adjustable dampering coilovers. These are pretty stiff for a street car. I mean, if for a track car, probably be fine, but I want to make this a street car. So eventually I'm going to upgrade these coilovers. This wing is actually, yes, it is a replica. It is a replica, I believe, of a newer STI. I got this at Car ID. If uh, you want to know, I will put the link in the description below. But it's kind of something I wanted. Maybe I'll upgrade to a non rep sooner or later on when, you know, don't have a budget. But I will also go over, like I said, the build I want to do with this car. So stay tuned to that. So honestly, the interior of my car, nothing too fancy. Still pretty stock, slightly still in rough condition. I'm actually working on fixing all of this, and yes, it is tan. And these are seat covers I got for the car not too long ago. And my seats were actually, aren't in that great condition. But I plan on putting STI seats in this, but I do, most of you are probably going to hate this, but I do want to do something different. I do want to keep the tan because, in my opinion, it feels a lot cooler in the sun. And the sun is not beating down on the black. And it's just something different because everybody loves doing black. Don't get me wrong, I love the black. Maybe one day if I get tired of the tan, I will go to the black interior. But here's the interior of the car. Nothing too fancy. Still got that 97 style. Probably want to upgrade everything to 
if I go to black to the newer style of dash and interior and like I mentioned earlier it's still not in that great condition that poor door card over there unfortunately as you can see behind me my windows yeah they are not tinted I really would like to get them tinted I thought about doing it myself but I've never done it before and I want it to be done right so I think I'm actually gonna get them professionally tinted sometime in the future because some of you on Instagram telling me gotta glow up man tint those windows they will be done soon but unfortunately I'm not very good at it you seen my wrap job on the little pillar back there on the outside it looks okay but you can see a lot of the flaws in it few bubbles a lot of them worked out eventually but still you can see some flaws in it if you look closely but hey I'm not a professional and they looked better than they did they were pretty wore out so I want to go over the build plans with you guys I kind of want to do a street build with this car and I do want to change the engine out um, I do want to turbocharge it and I kind of want to do about a 400 horsepower street build something kind of fun to be on the streets maybe something to go to meets with nothing too fancy for this car maybe later on if I get a new car, I might do something different with this one or possibly to the new car. But I do want to change one thing about this car is the flares. They are just some universal flares I found on Amazon because my body panels in the rear were kind of rusted out. I fixed all those up. I bonded all that and painted over them and just stuck the flares over them. And I kind of want to do an actual wide body kit for this car possibly sometime in the future i was probably thinking of the 22b replica wide body kit for this i was actually excited to see that they actually do make the kit for the four door which is kind of cool and i would love to do that and i eventually do want to paint the car Right now, um, it actually needs repainted again because some of the paint is chipping off because it was just a dumb rattle can job. But the paint underneath was not so good. A lot of it was still falling off and I just did a quick rattle can job so it would not rust where the paint was bad and I just wanted to cover all that up. But I do want to paint the car a better color but I don't know what I want to do for the color, but I don't want to do any of that until I get everything I need for the car. Like, I want to do some more body work to the car because there's still some imperfections in the body as you can see in the videos. There is still some dents that need to be worked out. And I'm definitely going to get those fixed in the future and really do the wide body kit. And... That would probably be mainly the build for this car. It's just a street car. Something I could drive possibly daily or every once in a while. But mostly going for daily. But I want to redo the engine and everything else. Um, there is some flaws with the car that I've seen. And what you've probably seen. There still is some flaws. Uh, it currently has an idle air control valve issue i fixed all that found out it was the wiring and it still didn't work but i took it apart and found out that the solenoid on top of the valve was bad underneath it it looked like the magnet material that it magnetically turns was cracked and broken so unfortunately it needs a new idler control valve i do need new wheel bearing in the rear on the driver's side. That's why I don't drive it as much every once in a while. Because would love to go down the road and then my rear tire just seizing up. That would not be fun. But I guess that would be mostly it for my build. But some future plans for the channel. Things are going to be slow with videos now because of where I'm at. There's not a whole lot to do. 
not much of a car scene here plus it's going to be winter here soon it is fall here it's actually a very windy fall day so i'm actually in my car right now in the garage to kind to kind of get away from the wind and explain what i want to do to my car and sometime in the future we are moving down to south carolina and the car culture down there is really cool and hopefully we can further our channel and our car down there possibly do some shows possibly want to do some media work for people do car uh, media videos possibly don't really know yet but kind of want to do that so that's probably about it for the uh, build plans for this car and the future of this channel I really would like to continue this because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time uh, the reason I haven't is because as you can see I had a confidence issue in my features of my face as you can see my teeth are not really in good condition due to health issues and I'm actually working on that but I finally built up the confidence told myself let's just go for it like I said the channel is going to be a little slow at the moment but maybe if we get nicer days we'll go out and maybe do a little shoot show you around the area I live in it is actually kind of nice area up here in Montana but it is also very slow in car culture so hopefully the move down to South Carolina will help that out and hopefully grow my channel but as of right now that is all I wanted to talk to you guys about and hopefully you like the video and some of the parts will be down in the link in the description below if you're interested and hope you liked the video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.